In the previous lecture, we obtained the phasor relationship for resistors and now we are going to find out the phasor relationship for inductors and this means we are going to find out the relation between voltage phasor and the current phasor when we have an inductor having the inductance equal to L. Vt is the sinusoidal voltage and it is applied across the inductor and IT is the current in this circuit and IT like VT is also sinusoid and uh, let us say that IT is equal to IM cos omega t plus theta the standard sinusoid and uh, from here we can have the corresponding phasor representation of current IT we will have I phasor equal to I m angle theta and uh, we know in case of an inductor the voltage across the inductor which is Vt in our case is equal to the inductance value multiplied to the derivative of current through the inductor with respect to time and we know I t it is equal to I m cos omega t plus theta so we can say that Vt is equal to L d by dt I m cos omega t plus theta. I m is constant therefore we will take it out of the differentiation and we will have Vt equal to L i m and then we will differentiate cos omega t plus theta with respect to time and we know derivative of cos omega t plus theta is equal to negative of sine omega t plus theta multiplied to omega so we can say that vt is equal to negative of omega l i m sine omega t plus theta now when you compare vt and it you will find it is a cosine function and vt is a sine function and therefore to compare vt and it we should have the same forms and therefore we will try to have vt in cosine form we can write vt equal to omega l i m cos omega t plus theta plus 90 degrees and from here we can have the phasor representation of voltage Vt. We will have V phasor equal to omega L I m omega L I m angle theta plus 90 degrees theta plus 90 degrees. Now we will do some modifications in the obtained result to have the relation between V phasor and I phasor. We can write V phasor equal to 1 multiplied to omega L I m angle theta plus 90 degrees or we can write V phasor is equal to 1 angle 90 degrees multiplied to omega L I m angle theta and uh, we know 1 angle 90 degrees is the complex number j and i m angle theta is our i phasor and therefore we can finally say that v phasor is equal to j omega l i phasor so in this way we now have the relation between voltage phasor and current phasor and if we want to have the phasor representation in this circuit then in place of vt we will have v phasor in place of it we will have i phasor and it will be equal to v phasor over j omega l and now we will move on to the plotting of v phasor and i phasor we are having i phasor with magnitude i m and it is making an angle theta so we will have i phasor something like this i phasor with magnitude i m making an angle theta 
When you focus on V phaser, you will find it is omega L I M angle theta plus 90 degrees and therefore our V phaser will look like this making an angle theta plus 90 degrees and the magnitude is equal to omega L I M. Now when you compare V phaser and I phaser you will find the voltage is leading the current by 90 degrees or you can say the current is lagging the voltage by 90 degrees. So this is what will happen in case of an inductor. The voltage will lead the current by 90 degrees or you can say the current will lag the voltage by 90 degrees. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here. See you in the next one.